Hi, so today we need a very simple script uh, to convert uh, this table here in Excel into an HTML table with Python. So we use it pandas and let me show you the, the result here. There is this one, okay, uh, this table here. So it uses pandas as an OS as modules. Uh, you got to import pandas with pip install pandas. Um, and then we in this HTML string here variable I got this multiline string where we have uh, the style and um, and also uh, with this bit of code here. Okay, you can change eventually the style if you don't want this style. Just um, copying and pasting it here, taking from somewhere in internet. And then you got, we take data from Excel with the uh, red Excel, where you put the name of the file and maybe we don't need this. Okay, because we do not use the uh, the regular to HTML to convert this into an HTML uh, file that we could do it. Uh, and there it is. We could do it with the um, with pipes with pandas, but we do not do it like this, and so. Then we add to this this HTML code. This will build the page in HTML. We will add the table tag here that will use this class that is in here with the style. And then I have two functions: one to create the either and this one name an H. And the other one to con to to put inside the data. So this one, John, Paul, Sarah, and their age. And so it just with the header here, it just uh, iterate through the data frame and takes the let's say the column that is sort of key of a dictionary let's see some I think it works like a dictionary if that's not a dictionary and where D each um, each column is the key and then there are the values under the column so this is the key these are the keys name and age and these are the values um, I'm gonna assume that it is like this even if maybe it's not like this uh, so I just iterate through each key name and age and print it like here uh, into this T table header text and then when these columns the first uh, row the columns ends uh, so zero one, it uh, print out goes to another row, uh, and then so in the main function here I first call header to print this one, and then I call content of table to print all the data. So I put a counter here. Um, well this one I don't need this one. Yeah, because you know it's not needed, and I use this string to accumulate the, the HTML code. Then this count don't need it. So for in range zero to len the f, so the f is a len of three, 
and so because I get to iterate through this one, one, two, and three things, and for D in the F, for so for the D that we remember are the column name and age, so for two times, uh, we're gonna add a cell, and in every cell there is the the values of D, so this value, but I don't want to go to this other value, I want to go to the value, to the first value of the first column and then to the first of the second column and then to the first of the second of the second of the first column and the second of the second column, the third of the first column and the third of the uh, second column. So um, I'm gonna do the first. Um, this will iterate first with the name and then the zero, the first value of the of the name, and then we'll go to H and the first value of age, we'll put it one next to each other then it will add a line, a new line, a new row and then we'll go back to the first uh, key, let's call it the so, so first column name, and we'll go to the second value then to the second uh, column H and the second value and then put another row and so on also for the uh, fir uh, the third values of name and column one next to another and so at the end it will add table and I think this one is not needed and it will also print HTML and save the file and make you look at the file like this. So this is how I made it and I made it almost to avoid the index because I didn't know how to avoid the index that in pandas will make another line here one, two, three. And and so this is start maybe to make something a little more complex if you don't like the style of the table you just can go to CSS table style something like that mm, let's see here for example if you like don't know maybe Like this one, could go and just copy this and you can go and put this one in. And so you can have it a little different. Because this has changed the the whole thing. You could go and if you don't want the class here, you can change this one. And so you have this regular table with borders and goes 100% here because you get here you could change this one to 80% whatever you want to do or you could not
can go and make it as straight as you want as mm, without space okay so if you want to go back to the to the classic style here you get nothing because you don't we didn't put the class here and again Okay, this has um, a little border, maybe you want it, I think. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. And so that's all. Thank you. And so you can easily change everything going and changing other, other kind of or style maybe here we got also something like this with the style generator maybe here is the CSS so you could go and copy this Syntax here. And this has blue table as a class. And so this is something like this. Okay, so I think you get an idea how this could work, and I think it could be useful. Thank you, and see you in another video.